Boom! What's going on everyone? This is Steve Larson from Secret MLM Hacks Radio. Excited to be here with you guys today. Uh, today I'm going to teach you guys, um, I'm actually going to do a throwback to my first MLM product. If you're like me, you know MLM is an amazing opportunity to grow a real asset for yourself. But you also see that there's huge issues starting to emerge. Like, why haven't big MLMs let tactics change in over 30 years? Or why have they been cutting commissions smaller and smaller? Or even, how dumb is it that old MLM rules say you'll get in trouble when you use the internet to grow your team? These are some of the blaring questions we all face today. This podcast will show you how real MLMers like us are waging war on the old dying methods. And we aren't cheating by only bugging uninterested family and friends. Follow this podcast while I expose the shocking methods I'm using to build my 10,000 person downline and get people begging to join my team daily. Here's to the new tactics without all those old rusty MLM shackles. My name is Steve Larson and welcome to Secret MLM Hacks Radio. What's up guys? Hey, so I create products on the internet. If you guys saw last episode, which hopefully you have, um, that attract people to me and I like to walk a lot of people through how I do that. Um, and then the people who get attracted to that product, that's who I'll go in and I'll try to start approaching and a lot of auto scripts I'll send to them, a lot of auto recruiting kinds of things I'll send to them to try and bring them into my downline. Now today though, what I want to do is I want you to see like the first product that I ever created was super, super overcomplicated. Okay. It was like, it was so over the top. You don't need to go crazy. What I want to teach you here in this one is how a little bit of a throwback to my first MLM product and then specifically how you can be pulling this stuff off for yourself so it more automates your leads on the internet and gets people to who are actually worth being in your downline. You know what I mean? This weird thing happened. I created this course and I put it on YouTube just for fun. And the weirdest thing started happening. I was, because I, I had the same thought, okay? And I was, I was in calls at the time and I was trying to recruit people for, for this thing that I was doing, right? And, and I created this course, exactly what a lot of you guys are doing now, which is awesome. And, um, and I made it free and I put it on YouTube and I put links to join my thing in the description. I put links to join what I was doing. I put links to reach out to me in the description. And the, the, the result of it was, it was shocking. It was floor. I could not believe how many people were coming to me asking to join whatever I was in. And that's part of the reason it was so like, like, oh my gosh, there's something here. Okay, the more I talk about it, the more I share what I'm doing, the more people just randomly ask to join me, right? It, it happens all, that's the reason I, like at the beginning of the year, I was getting one to two applications per day. It's actually increased. It's now anywhere from two to four, two to four people per day I've never met. I've never pitched complete strangers who have been through my content, who have self-selected, who said to themselves, self, you know what? That's Steve Gut Larson guy's got giant eyeballs, but that's okay. Let's see what he's about. You know, I, whatever he's doing, it must be awesome. Let's get it. What, okay. Let me ask to join his downline. You know what I mean? And it's nuts. And I know that about half of them probably aren't a good fit. And so I grabbed one of those other two and it's awesome. And so what ended up happening is about four years ago, the first time I dropped that stuff out there and started putting it out is, is, it was about one person per week. That's what it was for me. Okay. It was one, one to two people per week, it, almost around that. So it's about an extra four people per month that started asking to join whatever I was in. Right. And at the time it was an education product. There was a time I remember where I actually wasn't even a part of it. I had to go find something to join. Right. And I was like, what is happening here? Right. And it flipped the whole game. And I was like, that's so crazy. So then I started doing it on purpose. Right. And then it was like two to three a week and then four to five a week, you know, and then it was daily one and then daily and then increase. I was like, Whoa. And there was something that was happening because of what I was putting out there. Cause like, what's cool. And I love these, these questions, uh, at least in here. Um, um, what was happening was, I was breaking and I was rebuilding their beliefs about what it took to be successful in MLM based on, uh, um, uh, and I was changing the way they were looking at it. And then I didn't have to close them. They were asking, they were closing me on why I should accept them. 
and it, it, it changed everything. And then when I started doing like little paid prospecting things, like guys, I'm a product of the product I'm walking us through, which I hope you understand that none of this theory, like I, I do all of this and, and a lot of people do now, which is awesome. And, uh, and so the reason why it works so well is because I'm putting these little tiny hooks out there. Oh, you didn't like that piece of content. That's okay. Another one's coming around for you. Oh, you like that one. Cool. Gotcha. Right. And it pulls them on in a little bit, helps them realize, man, uh, like if you guys know Simon Chan, if you guys ever listen to him, he's the number one podcast on iTunes for the keyword MLM. I'm coming for you, Simon Chan. And uh, so anyway, super excited. Lots of cool content strategy coming out soon for me on that one. But um, anyway, what's been cool is um, um, if you listen to his intro, he also, he always says to people, I recruit 60 people every year, year after year into my opportunity. And I want to show you guys how to do the exact same thing. And if you poke around what he's really doing, it's the exact same thing. Okay. He puts content out. People start to see him as an authority. And I'm not saying you have to become a figure to be, to do this. Um, if you want to be, it's faster, but if you don't want to be, that's fine too. You can still put things out or crowd create little things that little uh, pieces of content, crowd create little products that attract people to you, that get people to you. And they're self-selecting. I'm interested. What do you do? Right. That happens all the time because of that strategy. So as far as end game goes, that's why you do it. And what's cool about it is that if I spend my time, let's say I spend 30 minutes pitching somebody on my MLM, that time is lost forever. That's why I don't like doing it. I'm not saying not to, but I don't because that lot, that time is lost to me forever. Instead, I could spend 30 minutes recording an episode or, or making a blog post or putting something out there, that's there for the rest of my life and my kids' lives, okay? That's there forever. And when I put little call to action things down the bottom, hey, go over here and get your free X, Y, Z, bam, they're on my list. They start to get familiar with me. They're like, see what he's actually a part of here. And they reach on out and I'm like, hey, if you want, you know, you can, uh, you can apply to join my downline. We'll see if you're a good fit. See if I'm a good fit for you, if you're a good fit for me. And, and if so, we've got the sweet offer that no one else in the, our team's got, or uh, you know, our, the MLM has got. And um, so that's how they tie together. And when you add something in like a paid prospecting funnel, what's cool about it is now you're getting cash to prospect. Don't take profit from it. I go and I dump that right back into ads and it speeds me up. It's right. It, it, that money is the speed and it speeds up like crazy. And I can talk to more people than everyone in my upline downline. And, you know, eventually everyone in the entire MLM as a whole, because they're not going to do things usually like, ads. <laughs> They're not. It's face to face, you know. So I don't drive ads for the MLM. That's not kosher on Facebook. I drive ads for the paid prospecting product. I can do that. It's my own thing. That gets them in the world and slowly they start to warm up to me and they're like, who's this kid? Right? What well, that's fascinating. Right. So I'm teaching you guys the exact same thing. So that's how it all uh, ties together. Um so basically how does how does the create I content I create for the funnel um, equal downline for the growth. Okay, cool. So hopefully I just answered that. I kind of ranted for there for a little bit. Um, and really at the end of the day, would you say that our target audience is current MLM people that are unhappy looking to switch? For me, it is. You could choose somebody else though. But for me, I don't want people to come in and ask dumb questions like, is this a pyramid scheme? You know, like garbage, stuff like that. And um, so I target people who are in MLMs that are unhappy because their uplines don't know how to teach them. <laughs> they don't have huge existing lists to just say, join my MLM. And then there's this instant success. You know, a lot of big guys in MLM are like that. They had a huge following already. They go into an MLM. They got a massive list. They say, hey, I'm in this thing. First come, first serve. <laughs> right. And then they have instant success or a good level of it that it starts to roll on itself. Right. So what do all the people do who don't have a huge list? What do all the people do who don't have massive leverage over an audience, right? And uh, that's exactly who I cater to. So anyway, um, so for example, obviously I bought the system. I relate to what you're saying and wanted to jump on my uh, wanted to uh, jump on my competition, but my goal is not to join your MLM. That's and 100% totally fine. I don't care. <laughs> Stay in yours, <laughs> right? But my goal, uh, but I want to grow mine in my own MLM. But I don't think that was your end game anyway. No, it is. Uh, my end game with Secret MLM Hacks is to change the entire MLM industry. I'm here to rock the boat and I'm here to disrupt the bellies. The belly to belly people who are afraid of technology, the old school MLMers that say, don't use the internet. They're afraid of it because they don't know how to use it, right? And uh, they don't know how to use it in a way where it's still compliant. They don't have to like disrupt Facebook, get banned and stuff like that. Like there's completely fantastic, amazing ways to do it. So, so 
go go disrupt your MLM, please. That's my end game because I I left ClickFunnels and my amazing cush plushy job with Russell Brunson to disrupt MLM. <laughs> so you are playing my end game. Thank you. <laughs> that's why I don't care. Like that's that. So I'll go have other right other little things out there. Paid prospecting products to recruit directly in. Right? I'm doing these things still. Secret MLM hacks is about you guys uh, learn how to do it in your own MLM. So great question. Um, so there are two businesses going on in the system. Uh, it's just one. Yeah, I just have a funnel for, right? Funnels aren't businesses. A funnel is not a business. A funnel is a way to sell people. It's just the sales. You have a funnel, even though you didn't meant to. If you've ever captured money from anyone ever, I'm not saying even on the internet. I mean, face to face. That was a funnel. A funnel is merely an offer and a sales message, right? I'm just taking that and I'm putting it on the internet. That's it. Um, uh, so two business. So it's just one business. I love these questions. This is awesome. With them overlapping into each other, uh, is that where the massive growth comes? The massive growth comes, frankly, when someone actually ponies up the ability to just freaking publish. They build something paid prospecting that lets them spend ads profitably without spending any of their own cash. People coming into that funnel, they just dump that right back into ads. And they have an application funnel where people come in and they apply to join someone's downline. You want a massive growth this thing? That's how, exactly how you do it. That's, that's, that's it right there. Hey, thanks for listening. Please remember to rate and subscribe. Hey, I know it's tough to find people to pitch after your warm market dries up, right? That moment when you finally run out of family and friends to pitch. I don't see many uplines teaching legitimate lead strategies today though. You see, after years of, of, of being a lead funnel builder online, I got sick of the garbage strategies most MLMs have been teaching their recruits for decades. So whether you simply want more leads to pitch or an automated MLM funnel, head over to secretmlmhacks.com to join the next free training. There you're gonna learn the hidden revenue model that only the top MLMers have been using to get paid regardless if you join them. You're also gonna learn the three-step system I use to auto-recruit my downline of big producers without friends or family even knowing that I'm in MLM. If you wanna do the same for yourself, head over to secretmlmhacks.com now. Again, that's secretmlmhacks.com.